Transitioning into the annals of film history, the actor Tab Hunter made an indelible mark with his striking appearance and charming demeanor. Known for his sun-kissed skin, golden locks, and surf boy persona, Hunter was carefully groomed by the Hollywood studio system and earned the nickname Psy Guy. Despite being labeled a typical golden boy, Hunter managed to break free from these limitations, successfully navigating his career beyond his youthful prime. Through determination and talent, the actor proved himself to be more than just a teenage heartthrob, achieving longevity in an ever-changing industry. Delving deeper into this classic tale, we explore how Hunter defied expectations and solidified his place in cinema history. Born as Arthur Andrew Kelm on July 11, 1931, in New York, the future Tab Hunter would go on to become a beloved figure in Hollywood. His parents were a Jewish father and a German Catholic immigrant mother, but they divorced when he was young. Following the separation, he moved to California with his mother and older brother, where he adopted his mother's maiden name, Jalen. The young Tab Hunter, even before his rise to fame, led a life filled with change and adaptation. Growing up in Southern California during the Great Depression, he learned the value of hard work and perseverance early on. These experiences shaped him into the talented actor and dedicated individual he would later become. As a teenager, Tab Hunter found solace in horses and horse racing, which eventually led him to discover his passion for acting. Little did he know that this newfound love would take him on a journey that would captivate audiences for years to come. From his humble beginnings to his eventual stardom, the story of Tab Hunter is one of determination, resilience, and undeniable charm. Initially, he joined the Coast Guard at just 15, eager to serve. However, his young age led to his discharge. Returning home, he sought solace in horseback riding, which became a passion for him. He eventually secured a position at a riding academy, finding comfort and purpose during this time. His journey took a significant turn when he crossed paths with agent Henry Wilson. This encounter proved to be life-changing, leading to him signing a contract that opened doors in the acting industry. He adopted a new name, Tab Hunter, and began his journey into Hollywood, where he would become a well-known figure in film and television. In 1950, a fresh face appeared on the silver screen, that of Tab Hunter, who made his debut in The Lawless. His performance left audiences intrigued, hinting at the potential for stardom. Several years later, in 1952, he shared the spotlight with Linda Darnell in Island of Desire, filmed amidst a picturesque yet secluded tropical setting. This movie saw Tab Hunter bearing it all, which further piqued public interest due to his undeniably toned physique. As a result, the actor gained considerable recognition for his role in this motion picture. Warner Brothers recognized his burgeoning popularity and promptly signed him. Soon after, in 1955, Tab Hunter experienced his big breakthrough in Battle Cry. Here, he brilliantly portrayed a young soldier grappling with intense emotions while sharing poignantly intimate moments alongside Dorothy Malone. Through these stirring performances, the actor solidified his standing as a top heartthrob among cinema enthusiasts during that era. In the 1950s, the actor Tab Hunter became a household name due to his leading roles in several popular films. However, his burgeoning career was threatened by tabloid scandals that attempted to out him as gay. At the time, such a revelation could have spelled disaster for his professional life. Despite these challenges, he continued to star in successful movies, including The Sea Chase released in 1955, The Burning Hills in 1956, and The Girl He Left Behind, also in 1956, where he shared the screen with actress Natalie Wood. The Sea Chase saw Hunter play a German naval officer during World War II, who becomes a fugitive after refusing to follow orders to attack Australian ships. This action-packed drama allowed Hunter to demonstrate his acting range, and establish himself as a leading man. Meanwhile, The Burning Hills featured the actor in a Western setting, playing a ranch hand seeking revenge against those who wronged him. Once again, Hunter proved his versatility by excelling in a genre often dominated by rugged male stars. However, it was perhaps the girl he left behind that solidified Hunter's status as a heartthrob. In this romantic comedy drama, he portrayed a soldier whose carefree lifestyle clashes with military discipline. His chemistry with co-star Natalie Wood added to the movie's appeal, making it a box office hit. Throughout these films, Hunter managed to maintain his wholesome image while dealing with personal issues that threatened to derail his success. Ultimately, he persevered and remained one of Hollywood's most sought-after actors throughout the decade. In the mid-1950s, the actor Tab Hunter decided to expand his talents beyond acting and ventured into the music industry. 
His gamble paid off when he released his hit single Young Love in 1957, which quickly climbed up the charts and reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100. This marked the start of his successful singing career, during which he also released several other top 40 hits. Meanwhile, in 1958, the actor was cast as the lead role in the musical comedy film Damn Yankees, where he starred as Joe Hardy alongside Gwen Verdon and Ray Walston. Based on the Broadway play of the same name, the movie tells the story of a fanatical baseball supporter who makes a deal with the devil to help his favorite team win the pennant. The film became a massive hit and contributed significantly to the popularization of rock and roll music, thanks in part to Tab Hunter's contribution. His portrayal of Joe Hardy added depth to the character and made him more relatable to audiences, thereby increasing the film's overall appeal. Despite being known primarily for his good looks and charming personality, Tab Hunter proved himself to be a talented singer and actor through his work in Damn Yankees. To this day, the movie remains a beloved classic among fans of both baseball and Hollywood cinema. After delivering successful performances in Battle Cry and Damn Yankees, the actor Tab Hunter continued to grace the screen with his presence. In the late 1950s, he starred in films like Lafayette Escadrille alongside Clint Eastwood and That Kind of Woman with Sophia Loren. These roles further established him as a talented leading man in Hollywood. However, the 1960s brought new challenges for the actor. He decided to break free from his contract with Warner Brothers, which led to legal battles and made it difficult for him to secure film offers. As a result, he turned to television and became the star of The Tab Hunter Show. This sitcom aired from 1960 to 1961 and allowed the actor to showcase his comedic timing and versatility. Despite facing career obstacles, the actor remained determined to stay in the limelight. He continued to act in various TV shows throughout the decade, including The Love Boat and Hawaii Five-0. His resilience and adaptability helped him maintain his status as a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. In the late 1950s and early 1960s, the actor Tab Hunter amassed an impressive portfolio of over 200 television appearances, demonstrating his versatility and talent. His performances were so remarkable that he earned an Emmy nomination for his work in a Playhouse 90 episode. During this time, the actor was a familiar face in American households, appearing in popular shows such as The Ed Sullivan Show, The Tonight Show, and What's My Line? However, despite his success on the small screen, the actor's career in films began to decline. He starred in several lightweight and forgettable movies during this period, including Operation Bikini in 1963, Ride the Wild Surf in 1964, and Birds Do It in 1966. These films failed to make a significant impact and did little to showcase the actor's talents. Instead, they typecast him in shallow roles that lacked depth and substance. Despite these setbacks, the actor continued to work steadily throughout the years, both on stage and screen. Although his film career never reached the same heights as it had in the past, he remained a beloved figure in Hollywood, thanks to his many memorable television appearances. Today, fans still enjoy watching reruns of this classic actor's work, appreciating his contributions to entertainment, and remembering a bygone era when he brightened up their screens. In the early 1960s, the actor Tab Hunter briefly graced the stages of Broadway in Tennessee Williams' play. The milk train doesn't stop here anymore. Sharing the spotlight with the legendary Tallulah Bankhead, he held his own amidst the bright lights and critical eyes of the great white way. Despite the challenges that came with performing in such a high-pressure environment, Tab Hunter proved himself to be a capable and engaging performer. His work in The Milk Train Doesn't Stop Here Anymore was marked by a quiet intensity and a deep commitment to the material, earning him praise from both critics and audiences alike. After his successful stint on Broadway, Tab Hunter took his talents on the road, traveling the dinner theater circuit. These performances gave him the opportunity to connect with fans in a more intimate setting, allowing them to experience his artistry up close and personal. Although this period in his career may have been seen as a step down from the glamour, and prestige of Broadway, the actor approached each performance with the same dedication and professionalism that had come to define his career. Throughout this challenging phase in his career, Tab Hunter remained a consummate professional and a dedicated artist. Whether on the stage of a grand Broadway theater or the smaller venue of a dinner club, he continued to entertain and delight audiences with his talent and charm. And while his path may have taken him away from the limelight, his contributions to the world of theater will always be remembered and cherished.
In the 1980s and 1990s, the actor Tab Hunter made a triumphant comeback, appearing in several memorable roles that playfully referenced his earlier career. He began this second act by poking fun at himself in John Waters' comedies, starting with Polyester in 1981. This marked a shift in tone for the actor, who had previously been known for more serious parts. Three years later, in 1984, he reunited with Waters for another offbeat comedy, Lust in the Dust, where he shared the screen with veteran actress Divine. The actor also ventured into the horror genre during this period, starring alongside Linda Blair in the 1988 film Grotesque. Despite its ominous title, the movie received mixed reviews, but provided the actor with yet another opportunity to demonstrate his range and willingness to take on diverse challenges. As the 1990s dawned, the actor took on one last significant role before stepping away from the limelight. His final feature film was Dark Horse, released in 1992. Afterward, he chose to lead a quieter life, retreating to his ranch and largely eschewing public appearances. While details about his time on the ranch remain private, it's clear that this classically trained performer left an indelible mark on Hollywood, punctuating a career that spanned decades with a successful resurgence in the twilight of his professional life. Moreover, in 2005, the actor shared a tell-all memoir that opened up about his relationship with film producer Alan Glaser. This revelation marked a significant moment in his life and career, as it not only detailed his personal experiences but also challenged the norms of the entertainment industry. Through his memoir, he left a legacy of memorable performances that showcased his charm and talent. In the years that followed, he continued to be remembered for the roles he played and the stories he told. Unfortunately, the actor passed away on July 8, 2018, at the age of 86 due to complications related to deep vein thrombosis. His passing signified the end of an era for many who admired him, but his contributions to film and open discussions about identity live on in the hearts of his fans. In the glamorous world of Hollywood, few stars shone as brightly as Tab Hunter. Born Arthur Kelm on July 11, 1931 in New York City, he would later change his name and embark on a remarkable journey to stardom. After serving in the Coast Guard during the Korean War, Tab returned to California and began working as a stable hand. It was here that he was discovered by actor Dick Clayton, who encouraged him to pursue acting. Soon after, Tab signed with Warner Brothers and made his film debut in The Lawless. Over the next decade, he appeared in numerous films including Battle Cry, The Burning Hills, and Damn Yankees. His rugged good looks and charming personality quickly endeared him to audiences nationwide. But it wasn't just his acting skills that caught people's attention. Tab also became a popular singer releasing several hit songs like Young Love, which topped the charts in 1957. He even hosted his own TV show, The Tab Hunter Show, from 1961 to Despite facing challenges due to societal prejudices towards his sexuality, Tab continued to thrive in both movies and music. As time passed, Tab transitioned away from acting but remained active within the entertainment industry. In recent years, he has opened up about his experiences as a gay man in Hollywood during its golden age providing valuable insight into an often overlooked aspect of old Hollywood. Now in his late 80s, Tab Hunter's legacy continues to resonate with fans young and old alike. Born Arthur Kelm in New York City on July 11, 1931, Tab Hunter's journey to stardom began when his mother remarried and he took his stepfather's last name. Raised in California, Hunter was exposed to acting through school plays and community theater. His natural athleticism also led him to compete in local jockey races during his teen years. A chance encounter with actor William Aldrich at a horse stable paved the way for Hunter's film career. Impressed by the young man's charm and looks, Aldrich arranged for a screen test which eventually landed Hunter a contract with Warner Brothers Studios. Under the tutelage of studio executives like Jack L. Warner, Henry Blank, and director Stuart Heisler, Hunter honed his skills and learned the ins and outs of the movie business. Despite facing challenges such as being typecast early on, Hunter persisted and developed into a versatile actor. Notably, Hunter's friendship with fellow actors Natalie Wood and Anthony Perkins provided support and inspiration throughout his career. Their shared experiences helped shape his understanding of the industry and fostered a sense of camaraderie among them. Hunter's rise to fame can be attributed not only to his own talent, but also to the guidance and influence of these key figures in his life. Through their encouragement and expertise, they played instrumental roles in shaping his successful career in Hollywood.
Growing up in California during the Great Depression, Arthur Jillian, later known as Tab Hunter, found solace in movies. He was especially drawn to horseback riding scenes, igniting his love for horses and adventure. At 15, he lied about his age to join the Coast Guard, but was soon discharged due to being underage. This experience, however, sparked his interest in acting. One day, while working as a stable boy on a movie set, Tab's natural athleticism caught the eye of studio executive Henry Wilson. Noticing his potential, Wilson signed him and gave him the stage name Tab Hunter. Despite initial struggles with acting lessons, once throwing a chair across the room out of frustration, Hunter persevered. A significant turning point came when he landed the lead role in the film Island of Desire. Although initially nervous, Tab delivered a strong performance opposite legendary actress Linda Darnell. From then on, he became one of Hollywood's most sought-after leading men throughout the 1950s. His genuine enthusiasm for storytelling and charismatic presence captured audiences' hearts and solidified his place in cinema history. Clearly, Tab Hunter's early encounters with films and animals played crucial roles in shaping his successful acting career. Born Arthur Kelm in 1931, the man who would become Tab Hunter struggled financially in his youth. His family lived through the Great Depression, which left a lasting impact on their finances. To help make ends meet, young Art took on various jobs, including delivering newspapers and working at a local horse stable. These experiences instilled in him a strong work ethic that he carried throughout his life. When Art decided to pursue acting, he faced skepticism from the industry due to his lack of connections and formal training. Undeterred, he honed his craft by taking drama classes and performing in community theater productions. He also changed his name to Tab Hunter, hoping to distance himself from his humble beginnings and create a more marketable image. Despite initial setbacks, Tab's talent and determination eventually paid off. In 1950, he landed his first film role in The Lawless, followed by a breakout performance in Island of Desire alongside Linda Darnell. However, his rise to fame was not without obstacles. During the height of his career, rumors about his sexuality began to circulate in Hollywood. Rather than letting this derail his progress, Tab remained focused on his work and continued to deliver impressive performances. Tab's resilience extended beyond his professional life. When his relationship with actor Anthony Perkins became public knowledge, both men faced backlash from fans and industry insiders alike. Instead of succumbing to pressure, Tab embraced his true self and became an advocate for LGBTQ rights. Throughout his career, Tab encountered numerous challenges, from financial struggles to industry skepticism. Yet, time and again, he demonstrated a remarkable resilience and creativity in overcoming these hurdles. By staying true to himself and refusing to let others define him, Tab Hunter etched out a place for himself in Hollywood history. In 1955, a pivotal moment arrived for Tab Hunter when he starred in the film Battle Cry. His performance showcased his ability to tackle serious roles, marking a significant shift from his previous light-hearted performances. This breakthrough brought him widespread attention and solidified his status as a promising actor. A few years later, in 1958, Hunter experienced another major leap in his career with the release of Damn Yankees, where he played the lead role of Joe Hardy. Critics praised his charismatic portrayal, which helped establish him as a bankable Hollywood star. Notably, actress Gwen Verdon, who acted alongside him, commended his natural talent and dedication, stating, Tab's charm and commitment truly shone through in every scene we shared. Hunter continued to challenge himself by exploring different genres, including romantic comedies like The Pleasure of His Company. Co-star Fred Clark admired Hunter's range, saying he had an incredible knack for making people laugh while maintaining sincerity, quite a rare skill. These diverse roles contributed to Hunter's lasting appeal and adaptability throughout his acting career. Throughout the 1970s and 1980s, even after the peak of his initial fame, Tab Hunter made strategic choices that kept him relevant. He ventured into television with guest appearances on popular shows such as The Love Boat and Hawaii Five-O by adapting to new mediums and consistently delivering strong performances. Hunter demonstrated resilience and longevity in his profession. In summary, Tab Hunter's career was marked by several key moments that propelled him forward. From his early success in Battle Cry and Damn Yankees to his versatile TV appearances, Hunter proved himself to be a dedicated and skilled artist. With each opportunity, he left an indelible impression, continually pushing boundaries and captivating audiences along the way. Renowned actor Tab Hunter's artistic vision was shaped by his humble beginnings and life experiences, 
born Arthur Kelm on July 11, 1931, in New York City. He was raised in California after his parents divorced. At a young age, he discovered his love for performing, which led him to join the Coast Guard during World War II, where he honed his singing skills. After the war, Tab pursued acting and signed a contract with Warner Brothers in 1950. His clean-cut, all-American look quickly made him a heartthrob, but it was his raw talent and dedication to his craft that set him apart from other actors of the time. He approached each role with careful consideration and preparation, often immersing himself in research to fully understand his character's motivations and background. Tab's personal experiences greatly influenced his work. Growing up in a working-class family taught him the value of hard work and perseverance, qualities that served him well throughout his career. Despite facing homophobia in Hollywood, Tab remained true to himself and refused to conform to societal expectations. This authenticity shone through in his performances and endeared him to audiences. One notable aspect of Tab's acting style was his ability to convey vulnerability and emotional depth on screen. In films like Damn Yankees and The Burning Hills, he portrayed complex characters grappling with internal conflicts and external pressures. Rather than relying on grandiose gestures or over-the-top delivery, Tab let subtle facial expressions and body language tell the story. Throughout his career, Tab worked with some of Hollywood's biggest stars, including Natalie Wood, Anthony Perkins, and Sophia Loren. However, he never lost sight of his own artistic vision and continued to challenge himself with diverse roles. Whether playing a tormented gunslinger or a charming leading man, Tab brought nuance and depth to every performance. Despite retiring from acting in the late 1980s, Tab remains an inspiration to aspiring performers today. His legacy serves as a testament to the power of staying true to oneself and approaching one's work with integrity and passion. By reflecting his personal experiences and values in his art, Tab created a lasting impact on both the film industry and its audience. Tab Hunter, born Arthur Jellian in 1931, was a significant figure in Hollywood's golden age. His impact and influence extend beyond his acting career, encompassing music and cultural shifts. Hunter's rise to stardom began in the 1950s when he signed a contract with Warner Brothers. He quickly became a heartthrob after starring in films like Island of Desire and Battle Cry. His clean-cut image and all-American charm made him a favorite among fans, earning him the nickname The Psy Guy. But it wasn't just his looks that captured audiences. Hunter proved himself as a talented actor, delivering compelling performances in movies such as Damn Yankees, and they came to Cordura. Critics took notice, praising his ability to balance humor and drama. In addition to acting, Hunter also had a successful singing career. His hit song Young Love reached number one on the Billboard charts in 1957. This further solidified his status as a teen idol, influencing future generations of pop stars. Off-screen, Hunter challenged societal norms by living openly as a gay man before it was widely accepted. His honesty about his personal life paved the way for greater acceptance and visibility of LGBTQ individuals in the entertainment industry. According to film historian Robert Dance, Tab Hunter represented an idealized version of American masculinity. During a time of great change, he brought depth and nuance to every role he played. Director John Waters, who cast Hunter in his film Polyester, echoed these sentiments, stating, he broke the mold of what people thought a movie star could be. Indeed, Hunter's contributions to both cinema and culture continue to resonate today. His legacy serves as a testament to the power of authenticity and talent, inspiring new generations to challenge conventions and pursue their passions. Moving beyond his successful acting career, Tab Hunter was known to have a deep love for horses. He often spent time riding and caring for them on his ranch in California. This passion led him to become involved in various equestrian organizations and even competed in horse shows. Hunter was also an accomplished singer, releasing several albums throughout his career. His interest in music extended beyond just performing, as he had a keen ear for talent and discovered singing sensation Debbie Reynolds early in her career. Despite his busy schedule, Hunter always made time for giving back. He was actively engaged in numerous charitable endeavors, most notably supporting animal rights and LGBTQ advocacy groups. In fact, he used his platform to raise awareness about these issues and worked tirelessly behind the scenes to promote equality and compassion. One notable cause close to Hunter's heart was the prevention of cruelty towards animals. He lent his voice to campaigns aimed at ending puppy mills and supported no-kill shelters across the country. 
Additionally, he was a strong advocate for marriage equality and openly spoke out against discrimination faced by the LGBTQ community. As we delve deeper into Tad Hunter's life, it becomes clear that his personal values and passions greatly influenced his work both on and off screen. His dedication to helping others and protecting animals serves as a testament to his kind-hearted nature and commitment to making the world a better place. Let's dive into the life and career of Tab Hunter, a renowned actor who left an indelible mark in the film industry. Born on July 11, 1931, Tab started his journey in Hollywood during its golden age. His breakthrough role came in 1955 with Battle Cry, where he showcased his acting prowess and good looks. This led to more leading roles, including Damn Yankees in 1958. Despite facing challenges due to his sexual orientation in a less accepting era, Tab persevered and continued to contribute to the entertainment business. In addition to acting, he was also a talented singer and recorded several hits throughout the 50s. Later in his career, Tab embraced his true self and became a gay rights advocate. He penned an autobiography titled Tab Hunter Confidential, which provided an honest look into his personal experiences. For those looking to follow in Tab's footsteps, here's some valuable advice firstly, stay authentic to yourself, much like Tab did when he chose to live openly later in life. Secondly, resilience is key, keep pushing forward despite obstacles you may encounter along the way. Lastly, remember that versatility can lead to greater opportunities within the industry. Explore different aspects of entertainment, whether it's singing, dancing, or even writing, as we reflect on Tab Hunter's lasting impact. Let us cherish the memories he created and learn from his unwavering determination. May his story inspire future generations to step confidently into the ever-evolving landscape of the entertainment industry. Born Arthur Kelm in 1931, Tab Hunter's story is one of passion and persistence. After serving in the Coast Guard, he found himself drawn to acting. A chance meeting with actor Dick Clayton led to a screen test, and eventually, a contract with Warner Brothers despite being labeled as just another pretty face. Tab worked tirelessly to prove his worth. He took dancing lessons, learned horseback riding, and even practiced singing. This dedication paid off when he was cast in several successful films throughout the 50s, including Battle Cry and Damn Yankees. But Tab didn't want to be known solely for his looks. He pushed boundaries by coming out as gay in a time when it was dangerous to do so. His honesty paved the way for future generations of LGBTQ actors. Tab also showed his innovative side through music. In the late 50s, he recorded a hit song called Young Love, which reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. This unexpected success demonstrated his versatility as an entertainer. Throughout his career, Tab remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued working in film, television, and theater until his passing in 2018. His legacy serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of staying true to oneself and pursuing passions despite obstacles. The tale of Tab Hunter proves that creativity and determination can lead to remarkable achievements. Even in the face of adversity, artists have the power to innovate and inspire, leaving behind a lasting impact on the entertainment industry and beyond. As we take time to reflect on the life and career of Tab Hunter, it's clear his impact on the entertainment industry was significant. From his start in Hollywood during the 1950s to his later stage work, he showed great range and talent. His roles in films like Battle Cry and Damn Yankees captivated audiences and showcased his versatility as an actor. But beyond his film work, Tab Huner also left his mark on television and music. He had a successful singing career and even guest starred on popular TV shows like The Love Boat. Through all these different avenues, he remained a beloved figure in the entertainment world. Now, we want to hear from you. What do you think about Tab Hunter's legacy? Did you have a favorite performance of his? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this piece, please give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more content celebrating the lives and careers of influential figures like Tab.